Okay, so this is what we are creating, this little health bar. And let's get started. Right, so if we take note of the width of the actual energy bar, that's the green bar. That'll become important later, but for now we'll set up the variables, current health, and we'll leave that at 100. And then we have maximum health, which we'll have set at 100. So it just starts off with full health. Um, I'm just going to do this for debugging purposes, which will decrease and increase the energy bar, just so you can see it in action. Um, I'll take 10 off, I think, and increase it by 10. Okay, right, we shall, what we need to do is set the width to the current health, and that's divided by 1 over what the maximum width is, is of your energy bar, so in this case mine is 316. Uh, over the maximum health so you divide that again by the maximum health so the 316 which is this that's that's important so we'll uh, just give this a little test it should decrease and increase by 10 which it does I'll um wait to y'all now that works, as you see, it's up to the 100 maximum. Okay, now I'll change the width of the bar. So I'll shrink it all the way down, and then you have to take note of what the new width is, which is 120, I think, or is it 4, 24? 124 that's okay that looks okay and then what we have to do is reflect that into the formula up here so we'll change this back to thousands and we'll change that back to 124 so now even though the values are still a thousands, the maximum health and the bar is significantly smaller. It still represents the same value. And that is it.